this is a message for my international friends as well as my friends in India and for every that person who is a nationalist whether in America whether in UK Germany France Australia India or any country from Africa or from any of the other continents in this world and the message is in relation to the biological war which China has unleashed on this world. Why this biological weapon? Why China behaving so? You have to understand the psyche of China. Way back in early 19th century, Napoleon Bonaparte had made a statement. China is a sleeping dragon. Don't wake her up. Otherwise, she will shake the world. But for almost 130 years, the Western powers, governed by policies of imperialism and colonialism, exploited China. The saying was, everyone should have an equal share in the Chinese watermelon. So all interests are in relation to China. China was never made a colony. But all had equal interests and shares in China, in looting China. The opium trade was started. They were made opium addicts. The silver flow was taken out. And all their resources, whether railways were built or whatever was built. So whether it was America, whether it was France, whether it was Germany, later on, uh, even Russia, all exploited China. The result of that was that in 1949, China went through a revolution. People call it a communist revolution. I said no. Mao Zedong was no communist. Mao Zedong was an other warlord of China. China has a history of warlords. He was another warlord of China who combined Warlord, uh, warlordism, fascism, and communism. All the three together to unify China and liberate China. And then what he did, he closed China for almost 30 years. And during this period, China went for arming itself, strengthening itself, on the other hand, deceiving the world, like Nehru was deceived, Hindu Chini, Hindi Chini, bye bye, India and China brothers, stabbed in the back in 1962, the way they usurped Tibet. People should here understand one thing that the Chinese boundaries, because Chinese talk a lot of about the ancient maps and all, so let them bring the maps of Qing dynasty and Ming dynasty and all. The Chinese mainland was confined only to the China Wall, the area within the China Wall. The China Wall was made to protect the mainland of China. And all the areas outside that wall have been assumed by China. Then a very interesting thing happened. China. was following international diplomacy very shrewdly. And the Western powers thought to bring down Soviet Union, Russia, they can push up China. And they forgot to realize that they were making the dragon. They thought they will control China. And another thing happened in this, China had realized one thing after seeing the debacle of Soviet Union, that the methods adopted by Soviet Union world over to create anarchy and to bring about communist revolutions had failed.
except one or two, three, four countries. And had implications on Soviet Union because Soviet Union's economic resources went into that. Economically, Soviet Union failed. So unless China becomes an economic power besides the military power, China won't be able to control the world. And for that, China started opening itself. The Western powers thought, oh, China is liberalizing. China is joining the global brotherhood of business and trade and all that. And the profit-hungry multinationals started opening their industries in China. Why? Because China, a communist country, they claim, but there are no regulations for their labor. So, you exploit the labor at low wages, and being a communist regime, there will be no strike. So, establish your industries over there. And the other thing which happened, China sent lakhs of students to foreign universities. And the cash-starved universities of the Western world, with privatization of education, were very happy that we are getting the Chinese students, we are getting the Chinese money, China is establishing chairs in our university, China is establishing research centers in our university, not knowing that under the dictatorship of China, not a single citizen of China can travel outside China without the permission of the Communist Party of China. And all those who were sent there, they were doctrined. And we are seeing the results now. That how the anarchist ideas were put up in America or France or England or other parts of the world. All these writing in America, etc. is not just American. There's big money involved in it. There's big conspiracy involved in it. But the Westerns couldn't, you know, open their eyes to it. Another thing China realized during this period, because you see China is very uh, good in deception and analyzing. They also analyze the psyche of the world, the psyche of the multinationals, the profit lust of the Western countries. And accordingly, played their diplomatic chess in that. And what did they do? They had realized one thing, that even after being the third biggest military power in the world, they can't win the world through an armed conflict. If they go into a war, they will be defeated. Because then the whole world will combine against them. Economic power they saw, but then they realized with the Trump's policies in relation to Chinese economy, that even that is not sufficient. And much earlier, now documents are all there. In 1999 itself, they had started training their army in biological weapons. Their journals and all had written books on that, how biological weapons have to be used. And our great Western powers established the Wuhan lab. And who were heading the Wuhan labs? Two Chinese army journals. And what happened in these Wuhan labs? Even today, I maintain this, my analysis, that Wuhan is not the only lab in China. You still don't know how many labs in China are working on biological weapons. And with whom? And then this whole thing of COVID, COVID. Remember one thing. When this whole thing started, armament in South China Sea, Chinese planes flying near Taiwan, near Japan, they did a galwan with India, though they were beaten back very strongly by the Indian forces at the behest of a bold Indian Prime Minister. I had in my first debate on a TV channel had said, 
that there will be no war, where the whole media world over was shouting that we are heading towards third world war and waiting for the day for the third world war to start. Because the Chinese knew they can't win the world by a war. But the whole attention of the world was directed towards war. And within that hostile environment created at diplomatic and army levels, very quietly China launched this biotech weapon of Corona on the whole world. The weapon was launched. And that is why if today you have to fight China, you have to stop China. The biggest money lender in the world calls itself a communist. The country which where no one has a right, no citizen has any right, calls itself a communist. And has unleashed to the world the anarchists all over to spread in talk in favor of it. If the whole world has to be safe from this dragon, they will have to combine, they will have to make a united France, the multinationals will have to give up their lusty profit policies.